All right, welcome back to the second part of approximating money. So with approximating money, we talked about it's going to require our rounding school skills. So the first half of this, we were rounding to the nearest 50 cent or rounding to the nearest dollar. It depends on the situation. And that's what we did uh, in that previous note. So and I showed you the, the different columns and we talked about rounding by 50 cents. So you're rounding to uh, the nearest uh, half dollar and because it's easy to count in half dollars so you can mentally keep track of that or you could also go to the nearest dollar as well and what we found when I did the total with the calculator the price of this shopping list was $32.94 when we approximated which is a guess we got $33 so we were actually over by six cents and when we went by dollars we were almost 94 cents short but almost the exact same so you can see that the amount when you round up or you round down uh, regardless which way you go uh, in the end it makes up the difference and seems to balance out so then I talked about being at the arena rather than sitting there trying to add funny numbers together so example two dollars and ten cents and 85 what you do is you round to the nearest dollar instead and it gives you an approximate value so for that first example we said Tony would have to pay approximately five and a half dollars the actual was 530 so if Tony had five dollars and, and two quarters out he was pretty darn close so approximating allows us to get further close so the last part of this slide then is it's this 10 percent rule that we talked about down here we need to be able to take 10% because we're going to talk about taxes, okay? And where we are, taxes for us are about 13%. All right, so, oops, get a pen out. So taxes are 13% for us, which is pretty close to 10%, close enough since we're approximating this without a calculator so we're going to go to this final panel or the final slide so I want to know what the final sales price is so you did homework on this already and we found the exact value the difference this time is that we are going to uh, we're going to approximate it okay so we are going to do 40 200 but instead I'm going to go 10 percent here all right so 10 percent instead of six because if I'm going to do this I'm going to approximate that means I'm doing it without a calculator so that means that 10% of 4200 and remember I said in the earlier slide you're just moving the decimal one spot all right so you're just moving the decimal from here to here which means you're just going to add four hundred and twenty dollars all right so four hundred and twenty dollars which means that the final price so we'll go final is equal to forty two hundred plus four hundred and twenty and we end up with four thousand six hundred and twenty dollars okay now if we were to calculate that out uh, and find the actual value we'll do it down here so we'll clear it so 4200 times 0 0.06 so 6% is 252 plus the 4200 so the final price is 4452 so 4452 so you can see that it's a bit of an over approximation so actual was 40 Oh, okay, remember here, 4452. So 4452. So yeah, I, when you get into the bigger bigger values, there's a bit more of a difference. But I mean, you're just doing this in your head. So 4620 is a pretty good approximation. You know you're high, but if you're just trying to figure out how much you have to save off the top of your head, it gives you a pretty good ballpark figure. So over here, nine percent. Well, that's pretty close to ten percent. Okay. So if we find ten percent of the thirty-four fifty, remember we're just moving the decimal place over. That's 
pretty close to, let's call it $3.50. I know it's going to be 3.45, but I don't want to add 3.45. That's not easy in my head. So then I can say, well, the approximate final cost is going to be, I know it's $34.50 on the sales tag, plus it's going to be about $3.50 in tax. So $50 and $50, that gives me a dollar. So it ends up being, if you use your fingers, approximately $38. And I know because it was 9% and I used 10 that I'm over guessing. So I know if I have $38 in my pocket, I'm going to be safe on this purchase without the use of a calculator. So this example down here, same thing, 3%. Well, I'm going to talk about, let's go with 10% to start with, and then um, we'll talk about a strategy on how to deal with 3% because 10% is overkill. So what I'm going to say is 10% of 12,450 is equal to. So 10%, you'd move the decimal over one place. So it would be 12,000 and let's call it $50. You're rounding here. Now, 10% is too big. So if I go half, halfway 5% is a lot closer. So 5% would be, so would be, 1250 divided by 2. So divide that by 2, I get about $625 or $600. You could say half $1,200 is $625. So all I did was I cut it down. Now I know I'm still going to be high because I'm adding 5%. So I would have the 12,450 plus 625 which would leave a final cost of approximately, so if we added 600 to 400, so it's going to be about 13,000, uh, 13,000 and say $25. So I'm not even, I'm, I'm just giving an approximation. I'm not doing the exact math. I'm not, I'm just knowing that if I add $600 here, so this is about $600, all right, if I add $600, to 12,400, it's going to go to approximately $13,000. I'm not looking for exact value here. I'm looking for a good guess. All right. Now, I'm going to change this question. Let's go the other way. What happens if you were in some terrible place that was charging 18%? All right. So 18%, again, you use the 10% rule because 10% of 75.25 would equal, move the decimal over one place, 7.52. So let's call it $7.50. Now 18% is closer to 20%. So 20% would equal twice as much. All right, to get that 20%. So 750 plus 750 turns out to be $15. So your final cost then would be the 7.25.25. And then you have to add $15 to that total. So 75 plus 15, so that gives you about $90. So now you're calculating tax without a calculator. You're, you're approximating. And that's all I'm looking for is that approximation skill. Okay? So you're not going to be exact, and don't be worrying about it um, uh, being exact or how close do I have to be. I just want you to use this 10% skill, and, and you just round uh, accordingly to something that you can deal with. So if you look back, I mean, like I said here, 625, I just know if I add 600 here, it's going to go to 13,000. So, I mean, the 25 was a guess. You're, you're doing your best possible guess to get the correct answer, and that's, what, that's all we're working on here. So you're going to have some opportunities working with an actual menu, and then you're also going to have the opportunity, um, we're going to go to the grocery store, and they're good enough to help us practice our approximating skills in real life. So. Anyhow, good luck, and uh, we'll talk to you with the one-on-one. -on -one.